everyone, this is Brian Wilson, and today I'm going to explain the notation in my new book, Cello Chords. Uh, if you haven't purchased a copy already, it, you can do so at my website at www.brianwilsoncello.com and go to the link Cello Chords. The first piece of notation is the ninth, which means that we're adding a ninth to the chord. So let's say I have a C minor chord, the ninth of that chord would be a D. So here's an example. I'm going to play a C minor add nine. So here's it goes like this. And how about this? This is a G minor seven uh, nine. The next piece of notation is the lift and strum chord, which is denoted by an L and an S. So here is an A flat diminished chord uh, using the lift and strum technique. Do you see how I'm using the first finger down and then pulling it up when I want to play the subsequent three notes? If I was trying to play all of them together, it's almost impossible for me to do it. So to make that easier for me is I play the first note and then I finger the three notes right after that. And you can notice here that I'm not able to do a strum like this. I can only uh, pluck the notes from bottom to up, so it's going to be arpeggiated. top to bottom if you wanted to. Here's an E minor chord. The next piece of notation is the pull chord, which has a number after it, and the number refers to which finger you're going to be pulling across the strings. So the best way to demonstrate this is to simply do it. So I'm going to do an A fully diminished 7 chord. So what I'm doing here is I have the, my second finger on A, my first finger on E flat, my third finger on C, and again, at the last bit, I'm going to have my second finger on G flat. So what I'm doing is I'm simply pulling my second finger across the strings as I play the chord. So you don't have to really move anything, you just... your one finger across the string. So that would be a pull two chord. Another example of a pull chord would be a uh, pull three where you pull your third finger. So here's a B major chord. So I have my first finger, um, I'm sorry, my third finger on F sharp, my first finger on B, my first finger on F sharp, and then I'm going to pull my third finger over to D sharp. So it goes like this. Again, my hand is staying stationary except for the third finger, which is just simply pulling across the strings. Very simple once you get used to it. The next type of chord is the pluck chord, which is very simple. All you're doing is you're playing three of the strings, not four. So here's an example. How about a D flat seven chord? So we have a D flat, uh, F, and a C flat. We're not playing anything on the G string. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thumb, my, what is this, a pointer finger? Yeah, I guess it's a pointer finger, and my middle finger. And I'm going to use those three fingers. G string. The G string is has no contact in this entire thing. Another example of a pluck chord would be an E augmented chord. So I have an E, uh, G sharp, 
and a B sharp or C. Um, so again, the G string is not being used here, and we're just gonna pluck those strings and leave the G D string stationary. It's very simple. The next type of chord is the pluck pull chord, which is essentially a combination of the pluck chord and the pull chord. So you're just putting them together. Let's look at a B flat major pluck pull three chord. That's a mouthful. So pretty much I have a F, a B flat, and a D. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the bottom two notes. And as I'm going in the middle, I am going to pull my third finger from the C string to the A string. But I'm not going to play the D string. That's what the combination of the pluck and the pull chord come in. So I'm pulling, but I'm also plucking. You can do it with any fingers that you want. I like to use the thumb for the bottom two, and then the pointer finger for the top. Another pluck pull chord is a B diminished chord. So this is in first inversion, so we have a D on the bottom, an F on the D string, and then a B on the A string. So we're not going to play the G string at all, so we're pulling our first finger. So I'm just lifting my first finger up, keeping everything else stationary, and I'm not playing the G string. Very simple. The lift and pluck chord is much like the pluck pull chord. It's a combination. It's the lift and strum combined with the pluck. Let's demonstrate that by playing an A diminished triad. So we have an A on the bottom, a C, and an E flat on the A string. So we are going to first play the A, and when we're done playing that, lift it up, and then play that C, and then play the E. Just like the lift and strum chord, we have to lift one finger, and also like the pluck chord, we have to make sure that we don't pluck uh, all the strings. We're leaving one string stationary. Here's a D minor lift and pluck chord. So we have an A on the bottom, then a D, and then an F on top. So I'm going to play the A, lift my third finger, play that D, and then play the F with my second finger. So the whole purpose of this is to allow your hand to grasp things that it normally wouldn't if you just were in one stationary position. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this was informative. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. My email is brian at brianwilsoncello.com. Uh, if you haven't already, buy my book, Cello Chords. I think you'll really enjoy it. Thanks a lot, guys.